Starting from rest, you accelerate at 4 meters per second squared for 6 seconds. What is your final velocity? The first step for solving a problem like this is to write down all of the given information. So we're going to go off to the side here, write down a column for all of our given information. We're now going to go back to the original problem and read it through, picking on every piece of information that it supplies. So starting from rest, initially this tells us that our object has a velocity of 0 meters per second. The problem then goes on to tell us that the object accelerates at 4 meters per second squared. So A equals 4 meters per second squared. And the duration for this, the time, is 6 seconds. So T equals 6 seconds. Now the final part of the question is asking you to find your final velocity. So we're going to write that down as our unknown. Now the, you remember you have three kinematics equations and you have to now figure out which one you're going to use for this case. So the first one is V equals V naught plus AT. Second, V squared equals V naught squared plus 2A delta X. And the final one is X equals X naught plus V naught T plus 1 half A T squared. Now looking back at our givens, we have an initial velocity, an acceleration, and a time and we're trying to solve for the final velocity. If we now look through these three kinematics equations, we would see that the only one that we can use is B equals V naught plus AT. These other two equations down here aren't helpful in this situation because they both have positions within their equations and we're not given any position in our given information from this problem, so neither of these equations will be helpful in solving for the final velocity. So now we're going to rewrite down now our first kinematic equation, V equals V naught plus AT, and we're going to simply plug in the values that we are given in the problem. So V is equal to V naught, which is 0 meters per second, plus AT, A is 4 meters per second squared, times our time of 6 seconds. If we carry out the multiplication and the addition, we would find that a, our final velocity is 24 meters per second. 